go. Go into the garden. So, we have some Roma's and some beefsteaks. We did have some issues. Found some squash bugs on one of the other squashes. Oh, what is that? That looks like a dirt dauber. What are they? I don't know what they do. I don't think they probably eat the the bad bugs, huh? So anyway, uh, we'll do a quick tour um, just to show you what I got going on here. Yep. So we have some pole beans, uh, but this one seems to be doing good. It's going right up the pole. <clears throat> There's some uh, marigolds growing up under the tomato. Uh, we have some a couple of beefsteak tomatoes growing. All my beefsteaks like to, the whole branch and all, like to curl down. And I've only been used to growing romas, so which romas don't do that. They get more of a bush. And so what am I? I guess maybe beefsteak is more of a vine than a bush. Uh, I don't know. I've never grown beefsteak. This is, well, I tried last year, but it didn't it didn't work out. I started them too late. So, all right, so back there you can see the corn. I mean, it's already massive. Massive corn. And this is the backup, well, not there, the succession corn, I should say. That's going to be after that. Look at these beans. Look at these beans. Oh, beans. Beans, beans. And I'll show you some. If I can get the camera right on it. There you go. Right there. Right there. There's more over here too. Yep, right there. Beans, beans. We had some bush beans the other night. Actually last night, I think. Yeah, last night we had them. They were really good. So down here is where the squash bugs were going crazy there was probably about a dozen of them I zapped them and they all fell and I'm assuming they died but I don't see them let's see if you can pick them up no 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 so this is what it looks like under the canopy of the squash oh yeah look at all these beans more bush beans yeah and here's the zucchinis. They've been a little different this year. I mean, we've got one coming up now. And then here's the spaghetti squash. This is the first time growing that. And it is doing very well. Cucumbers coming up. A lot of flowers. A couple female flowers, though. <clears throat> Just a couple. There's one that's about to open up right there. You see it? Yep. I think there was one more. I don't remember where it was. Uh, oh, there it is. You can't probably see it. Yeah, you see it. Voila. Voila, voila. All right. So there, there are one, two, three, four, five, six cucumbers. Of course, this one wants to take over that spot. And he wants, I mean, everybody's just trying to take over this spot. Maybe next year I won't plant them so close. I actually had more in there. I thinned them out a little more. Same with the spaghetti squash. So we got this one right here that's getting nothing. He's growing, nothing's growing. He's just getting beat up. And then I had this one little cucumber right here. I was trying to fill up the spot, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This pole bean is going crazy though. I just put him there just to see what he would do. And he's doing. And this plant had squash bugs at once too. And I hit them with uh, neem oil and it's gone. It's gone. The neem oil that I had then was the neem oil that's just a suffocating agent. The new neem oil has that Zactaran or whatever that's called. And uh, that, that will uh, not only suffocate them, but once they start chewing, or sucking on the leaves and the juices out of it, they'll get that and that'll kill them. So hopefully we have a spaghetti squash coming. I see that sucker growing. Yep, right there. 
right there, uh, right there. And the bees have been out. Over here we got a bunch of jalapenos all the way down, uh, bell peppers all the way down. Here we go, some uh, chili peppers all the way down. There's one habanero right there. Don't mind this guy. It's a, it's a beet. I've been letting him grow. Bring all the uh, the critters to go feed on that plant, like him. And keep keeping them there, so all the bugs that want to eat, they just come over here and they eat. See, the bugs want to eat, so I give them something to eat. I just try to keep them away from what I want to eat. And you can see, I mean, there's a ton of squash in this hybrid Dixie squash. This thing's growing all funny, but it's getting there. See some some big ones. Yep, I mean they're everywhere, everywhere. All right, and I will add some pictures of from that trail cam. They um, there's a little cat that keeps coming in here. It's the same cat coming in here. Well, that's pretty much it. And till the next time.